Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'll talk about how to create some super stylish presentation slides on your iPad. When it comes to making presentation slides, I assume a lot of you think about Keynote or PowerPoint, but this design app I'll be covering today called Canva is also a great tool, and using Canva, anyone can make stylish presentation slides. This video is sponsored by Canva. You can use it for free, but it's got a pro version as well. We can actually do so much more at Canva on their pro version, and normally you get a 30 day free trial, and then you have to pay around $15 a month. But if you register using the link in the description down below, your trial period can be extended to 45 days. So if you're interested in using Canva, definitely check it out and register from there. I personally find this video a must watch, especially for those who are working professionals, so make sure to stay tuned and watch till the end. Here we'll be putting some text, so I'm going to use my magic keyboard. If you have your own keyboard, you can use that as well. Once you open the app Canva, you can find a bunch of presentation templates at the top here. So go ahead and choose one of these, and it should take you to the screen where you can start working your slides. As you can tell here, there are just so many cool looking templates here to choose from, and this is one of the things that makes Canva unique and different. There's a bunch of them on the left side, so what we'll do here is basically choose the one we like and create our own version according to our preferences. For example, we could pick this cool black and yellow one. At the top, we have this option label apply all. So just click on this and a new panel will fill the blank template on the right. As you click through the pages at the bottom, you can see that it's applied properly to all the slides. Also, just by replacing these text and images here with yours, you can easily create some really cool designs of yours. So this text here is an example. All you have to do is simply click on it and type in your text and you have cool looking designs instantly. Let's take a look at some other templates like this one for new employee training. This would be great when you want to create some cool on-site presentations for instance, and with Canva it's super easy to do that. As we can see here, we got the text and images laid out in a really stylish way. For example, they got this image of some complete strangers right here, but if you want to replace it with the image of your employees, you can do that easily. To do it, we're going to use these tabs on the left. You can see here we have the upload and image tabs. We can find these images by Canva under the image tab, and we can use them for free. And using the upload tab, you can upload your photos and use them. Right now I have this option selected, importing images from my camera roll. And as you import your images here, you'll see them all at a glance like this. For example, you can just drag your image and place it wherever you want. This way you can easily swap their images with yours. You can also adjust this position later if necessary. Now let me introduce you to this amazing feature. We have our image background white in color right now, right? But I got my other images here that are more popping colors like orange and purple. And if I want to have my image background following the same color style, there is a remove image background feature. Select the image and we have this effect tab at the top left right here, so select it. This will bring up this thing that says background remover, which would instantly remove your image background. And if you press this, you can see that it's loading right now. You recognize and keep the subject or the person up front and make only the background transparent. I just managed to cut it out like this. It might be a bit difficult to tell as now the background is all white in color. But now we are going to add a new color background to it. On the left side, we can find the tab shapes. And from here, we are going to choose and place a regular color field square on the canvas. Then we are going to adjust the size like this. Then once that's finished, in this layer tab here, there's an option that says send to backwards. And as we click on this, this figure will come to the front and the color will be applied to the very back. Isn't this really great? This way you can have your images all with a similar tone of the color. On a side note though, you can use this function, a background remover, only if you sign up for the Canva Pro version, 
so make sure to sign up if you want to use it. Another thing you can change is the sex font. If you select it and go to the font tab above, you can choose from some different fonts. Here you can pick your favorite stylish font to use. You don't really need to add different fonts and then import them into Canva every time, as Canva has a bunch of great fonts that are all ready for you to use. So just click on here and you can easily choose and use a different one if necessary. They got such a series of stylish fonts as you can see, so be sure to take a look. Basically we got two different types of fonts here, the free one and the other one exclusive to Canva Pro members. Another really interesting feature is the animation. As you click here animate at the top left, you can apply some beautiful animations to each slide individually. We could make these elements on the slide move around as well. And just like with the fonts, we have both free and paid versions, but I find even the free ones pretty decent, so you could add different animations to every slide for instance, and I'm sure this can be such a great way to make your presentation look more visually appealing to your audience. As you can see here on the screen, they have a lot of these templates with such unique designs. In case you want to insert text that's not English too, like Japanese for me, it's actually super easy to switch their text to Japanese. So don't worry about the language used on the sample slides, you can literally use any template you like. For example, here we have this template where you can create slides with your portfolio on them, and I find this one pretty nice yet simple, with such a nice text layout as we can tell. Then I could just switch this image to mine, Amiti Sensei, and replace the text bar easily as well. Right now I got all my slides with purple as a theme for the color, but I assume you often want to change it to the color of your choice. And it's actually super easy to do that. I just changed my background color from purple to red. Once you change that, look at the bottom here. There's an option here labeled change all. This will switch the color of everything from purple to red, like this. You can see how the arrow here turned red just now. All of the other slides got red now too. I find it's pretty great. You can change them all in one go and adjust the tone of your presentation. I'm sure you want your slides to have its own colors and tone, and you can change them instantly along with text and images, which will save a lot of time and you can still create your beautiful presentations quickly. I find it's pretty nice, so I really want you to make use of this feature as well. Now I assume some of you don't really want to use these templates and want to make your presentation slides from scratch. So here let me show you how you can do that. Go to the home screen, click on presentation which brings up a blank screen like this. If you go to the left side here, we have tabs like text and resources. So go ahead and click on the text tab. Then we will have templates with text like these. So go ahead and choose one of them, and once you click on it, it should be displayed on the screen. Now you just have to change the text, font as well as size according to your preferences. Once you have your text, go to this tab resources on the left. Here we can find a bunch of illustrations, gradations, and graphs to apply to your presentation. In this gradation section, we can find all kinds of them such as this one with such nice curved lines. I believe just adding stuff like these to your presentation definitely helps make your presentation slides look more visually appealing. And so if you want to have your background in a solid color with some gradations applied, you just need to apply some rectangle gradations as an example with some color and adjust the size. I also find this will leave better impressions of your slides overall. And after this, you could also upload your images to Canva, paste and trim them. It might be a good idea to place your image in the center and have some gradation around it as well. And there you go. It's really straightforward to create your original presentation slides even from scratch by using this elements tab on the left to add text, images, and stuff like that. So like this, we can easily work on our presentation pages. Finally, let's move on and export them. To export, go to this tab that says all designs in the menu on the left here, where we can see all the presentations we've created in one place. And now we want to select the one we want to export. Once you choose one, you find a share button here at the top right, so go ahead and click on it. Then you should see a bunch of different formats. 
but first select this option that says Save As. Then you can select the formats such as PDF, JPEG, and PIN file. The most commonly used one I believe is PDF. When you have a document with many pages like this one, I recommend saving it as a PDF file. They also have an option to share links here. And what it does is that it basically generates a link to your presentation that can be shared with others. We can just click on it to see them online. I assume many of you work online these days, so I find it such a nice feature to have. Another good thing is PowerPoint. If you want to, you can export your presentation as a PowerPoint file as well. I personally find it pretty amazing how we can convert our presentation on Canva to PowerPoint. So once you have the screen, just look for the app PowerPoint here among the list of options. Click on it and your PowerPoint should be open here. Now our presentation we made in Canva is transferred over here instantly. Isn't this pretty awesome as well? The text doesn't get messed up at all, and all the images are right where they should be. I was actually super impressed by this when I used it for the first time. But anyway, if you're a Microsoft user, I find a good idea to create your presentation slides in Canva first, and then bring them over here in PowerPoint. We don't really have these fancy templates in PowerPoint, so that's why I highly recommend following this style. And there are a lot of other ways to share presentation slides too, so be sure to check them out. I promise you can really do so much with your Canva. Before we end today though, let me introduce you to 5 of my favorite templates since there are just way too many great ones to choose from. So go ahead and use these for your reference in the future. The first one is this template called Colorful 3D Monsters. This is more of a kids-oriented, educational type of template. They got these really cute monsters on the slides, and you can move them around as well. And just by rewriting over these texts, you can instantly make these poster-like slides that really pop. I really love this template with such cute characters. You can replace their images with yours as well. And I'm pretty sure no one's gonna want to miss your presentation with such adorable monsters. Next one we have this one called Blue Whiteboard. This one gives such a refreshing kind of summer vibe. We got a lot of images with these skateboarders here for instance, and I find the balance between the size, position, as well as the text of the image just perfect and beautiful. I mean, the images themselves are pretty stylish to begin with, but regardless, I suggest this template for anyone who wants to have many images in their presentation. The third is this template called Modern Photography Portrait. This one is also focused on images, with a strong impression of vivid colors. I personally feel like people who are into fashion will like this template a lot. The images here are stylish as well, but real like is the color scheme or the combination of red and purple. The text font is also pretty decent. I think this template will be good for portfolios rather than for a project presentation, so you could use it to show off all of your work. Fourth up is this one called the Modern Technology Portfolio. I really love this one. It's got slides for different projects already filled in, and the black backgrounds really set apart from the other templates. You also got a neon thing going on as well. And this would be a perfect template when you want to give a presentation around technology for instance. I've also given a presentation on different types of technology before when I used to work for my company. And to this day, I still remember how I found it pretty difficult to find the right kind of tone like this. But with Canva, we don't have to worry about that. We can just find a template we like, change the text and images, and we are finished. It's just pretty great, so I'll give it a try. Last up is a template I believe many girls will love. It's called Black and White Minimalist Modeling Portfolio. It's got this really soft and gentle feel to it, and I love how this angle really gives such a refined feeling. And this might be great for anyone who works in the fashion industry and you want to propose some new clothes for the upcoming summer collection. It can be something you can do, but that's just an example and you can do so much more using this template, so make sure you take a look. And with that, we are finished! How was it everyone? Once again, there is a link in the description down below where you can extend your Canva Pro trial period from 30 days to 45 days without any additional fees. So go ahead and do that, and enjoy their paid features for 45 days if you're interested. Of course, you can cancel anytime even during the trial period, 
so it's definitely worth giving it a try. As I mentioned in the video, it's got a bunch of great features, so I highly recommend it for everyone. Alright, if you find this video somewhat interesting or useful, please hit the like button down below. And if you have any questions about Canva or anything related to iPad, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm planning to hopefully make a video answering all of your questions. So make sure you check it out. And that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad. So please do that too. See you in my next video. Bye bye.